Today is Yaya's birthday. Well, we actually don't know when his birthday is. My dad says it's because the Chinese calendar doesn't convert over very well, so we just celebrate it every Thanksgiving. We go to my grandparents' house for Thanksgiving. A few stories slip out here and there, always brief. As I've grown older, I've wanted to know more about our family, but the stories are just about as confusing as Yaya's birthday. Holidays are the only time our family gets together. Maybe this time, I'll be able to piece together the stories. Today is not Yaya's birthday. Maybe one day we'll get it right. Gong. This character means river in Chinese. And like a river, my family's history meanders and winds with no destination. My name is Carol Gong. My uh, granddaughter is videotaping me now. My name is Annabelle. So, uh, I was born in San Francisco. Oh, many years ago, okay? <laughs> my grandmother, my mama. She's a feisty businesswoman who knows a lot about money. Born in San Francisco, her family had a laundromat service in Chinatown. But when she was two, her family moved back to China to be with her extended family. But with the rise of the communist regime and Japanese imperialism, her family, who was wealthy and a target for the communists, moved to Hong Kong, and eventually back to San Francisco. At the age of 14, she had to learn English using elementary school spelling books. My uncle asked, what was the hardest thing about adjusting to American life? This was her answer. When I come back, the food, the food, they eat hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> I ended the school. My auntie took me to the, to the junior high school. I come here in the seventh grade. I have no English uh, basic. So I ended the seventh grade. And then my auntie talked to, to the, uh, the office, school office, uh -huh. and then paid one week of the lunch money. Okay. And I had to force myself to eat lunch at the cafeteria. <laughs> Uh, they serve hot dogs, they serve those. Oh, it's, it's awful, I cannot eat. I try to give to the friend next, next to me, and then my teacher says, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> did, 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 did you experience it? And I tried to dominate, and she watched. <laughs> she worked as a seamstress in her family's laundromat, which is where she met my grandpa, my yaya, a young local butcher. Oh. Oh, I go to uh, boat sounds a lot better. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Samsung mm. Street. Oh, Samsung? Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. But you went into San Francisco Airport, right? Yeah. Huh. With well, fake papers though, right? right? No. Oh. He fly in here <laughs> My because he got money. Yeah, yeah, is quiet, always in the background. He doesn't say much, but my dad says he's full of stories. Actually, it wasn't until recently that his children discovered he came here by airplane, unlike my grandma, who traveled three weeks by boat. He was a teenager and had fake papers under the name Hoi So Gong, which coincidentally was our real last name. His younger siblings, who were born here, adapted their paper name, Young, from their parents. I don't know much else beyond that. I do know that some time passed and my grandparents got married. They owned supermarkets in California, which was pretty common for Chinese immigrants at the time. But then came our family's pride and joy, the restaurant. Then how did you and Yaya get into the restaurant then? It's Yaya, that was Yaya's dream. That's, that's a scary part. <laughs> scary part? It's scary part. Never scared, I never scared. <laughs> Why was it scary? I never been employed, okay? Uh huh. He never been in the in the restaurant business, <laughs> and he he never even know how to cook. What? <laughs> <laughs> so my grandparents sold their supermarket and split the money in half: thirty thousand dollars for my grandma to buy a fourplex to rent out, and thirty thousand dollars for my grandpa's new restaurant. 
He learned how the restaurant world worked from a friend from his old village and opened Hoi's Chinese food. With the help of their four kids, they ran the restaurant as a family. I've seen my dad's class pictures. He was one of very few Asian kids in his class, in fact, the entire school. It was just him and his siblings and maybe a couple more. My uncle said that he got bullied, but when I asked my dad if he had any experiences with bullies, my dad brushed it off as just the usual, eyes pulled back and ching chong. Despite this, my family was connected to a huge network of other Chinese American families throughout the Bay Area. They went to Chinese school together, did extracurriculars together, and hung out a lot. Honestly, I don't know who's related to us and who's not. These are the people I do know I'm related to, though. There's my uncle Sherman, the youngest. He has two sons now, my cousins, Daniel and Mateo. Then there's my Auntie Elaine. She lives in Hawaii. Then there's my Auntie Colleen. She has a dog, also my cousin, named Bradley Cooper. We call him Bradley Pooper sometimes. Finally, there's the oldest, my father. He has my sister, she's 13, and of course, me. Soon, it will be Mama's birthday. Mama was born around Christmas. That's why her English name is Carol. We'll eat Chinese takeout, ham, and whatever else Mama and Yaya decide to make. My sister will make a birthday cake. We'll probably have pie, too. We'll open Christmas presents and play mahjong or blackjack. Maybe I'll get to hear another story. Maybe I'll get another puzzle piece. Soon, it will be Mama's birthday. At least we got that one right. <laughs>